and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and today's show is all about Pushcut. Pushcut is an app for your iPhone, iPad or Apple Watch and it started out life as a way to let you choose which HomeKit scene or shortcut you might want to run at a specific time instead of letting HomeKit make a unilateral this is going to happen decision for you. Nowadays, it's grown into much bigger than that, and we'll dive into that in today's show. Pushcut is free to download from the iOS App Store, and then inside of the app, you have a free option or two in-app subscription levels. The free version lets you create three different notifications, add one action per notification, and define two background actions. Then we have the basic tier, which is $8.49 a year. And here you can define as many different kinds of notifications as you like, add as many actions to each notification as you like, and trigger HomeKit scenes directly from notifications. Finally, we have the pro tier, which is $17.99 a year. You can create dynamic notifications here. So when something triggers your notification, it can tell exactly what it should say and do. It also has an API where you can trigger the notifications. And there's a server component, which lets you use a second iOS device as a server. Finally, you can also pass input to shortcut actions. There's a two week free trial of the pro version and the pro version is what I will be using in today's tutorial. If you're thinking the different tier options may sound a little complicated, don't worry, everything is going to be covered today. First thing I'm going to do here is open the Pushcut app, which is in my dock. Before it starts, it does ask you to agree to a privacy policy. This essentially stores a limited amount of data about you and your devices on the server, primarily about your notifications that you create in the Pushcut app so that we can use those remote triggers later. I've linked the privacy policy below. Tap agree and continue, and because this is the first device I'm setting Pushcut on, it takes a moment to prepare my account, which sets everything up for me. Next, it shows me what's new in Pushcut. As you can see, Pushcut has recently been adding shortcuts as a service and server actions, but we'll get to those in a moment. I'll just go ahead and tap continue here. Now the way Pushcut works is based around notifications. So it's no surprise that one of the first things it does is ask you to grant permission for it to send you notifications. I'll go ahead and allow that. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. 